I'd be so scared, I start talking to him like a slave from Roots. Like, he was gonna get me's in trouble. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're checking out Aries Spears, white families versus black families. Let's go. I'm actually on a mission, man, you know? Like, I don't even think comedy is my calling in life. I think I'm meant for something greater. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a vision the other night, it came to me. Okay. I think my mission in life is to help white people. <laughs> like, really, I want to feel comfortable enough to walk in your house unannounced at three o'clock in the morning. What the? Just wake you up and go, come with me. <laughs> like comics, we don't do shit when we on the road come except stay in a hotel room and watch oh, TV. God, and I'm looking good. through some of the stations and I'm watching these programs like Oprah and Phil and I'm seeing some of y'all's kids is out of fucking control. I really want to ask white people, I've always been curious, why don't y'all just beat your kids, man? Beat them, whoop they motherfucking ass. Y'all give y'all kids all kind of timeouts oh. and special places. The fuck is a special place? To a black child, that's a coma. What is a special place? No way. Black kids don't know shit about time out. We know about getting knocked the fuck out. That's it. My mother used to slap the shit out of me in public and I would look at people for help. Yeah. Like, shut up. <gasps> White people felt my pain. Oh my God. She just struck her child. Black people see black kids get hit, we be like, hey, get your shit together. Oh, man. Yo. It's only about a minute in, and everything he's saying is true. Literally. That's how it works. That's where I, I was brought up. And look at me. I'm okay. I think, anyway. <laughs> black people will beat other people's kids if they fucking up too bad. Like, miss, you need to whoop this ugly motherfucker. Put that shit down. Here's my website, email, home address. Call me. I'll fuck him up any time you need. You ain't got to kill him. Just watch him turn red. Just put this smoke. Just choke him out. Watch him turn red. You know what I found out growing up? Totally shocked me. White kids are just as shocked to find out black kids don't talk back to their parents as we are when we hear them talk back to theirs. Mm. So I used to have a little buddy would come over my house on the weekends, little Nate. We'd be in my room playing video games. My mother used to come in the room on us, cuss me out for no reason. Just scare the shit out of mm. both of us. We'd be in the room playing Mario Brothers. She'd come kick open the door like SWAT. <laughs> We'd be on level four. She'd Harry's, how many times I done told you to clean this motherfucking room? Cut that goddamn game off to clean this room. I come back, this motherfucking room ain't clean. I'm gonna take that Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck, and stick it in your ass. Nigga, I ain't playing with you. This ain't no threat. I'm this scared. is a promise. Try me, motherfucker. Try me. Mm, that scary. My white friend would turn to me offended like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> she can't do that, man. This is your space. This is your area. She's violating your right to privacy. You should say something. You want me to go say something? I'd be so scared, I saw talking to him like a slave from Roots, like, he was gonna get me's in trouble. <laughs> I like you, Nate, I really do. But my parents is good black folk. They gives me food, they gives me sleeps. And you get away from around here with that foolishness. Go on, get from here. Do you know how true this is? Oh my God. Do you know there's been times where, especially cause like, I grew up in Ireland yeah, and like, we're like the only black family in my area for a long time. And like, let's say, the kids want me to come out to play. You know, they might come knock for me. Like if I go out, like let's say like four days in a row, something like that during the summer, a day my parents might want me to just, you know, stay at home, not, you know, just not go out. To them, to the other kids, they don't understand that. So if I tell them, oh, my parents say I can't come out, they're like, what? To the country door, like, come on, let, come on, let Eddie come out to come play. My parents are like, no, he's not allowed. To them, it's not, it just doesn't make any sense because they, they can go out anytime they want. And to me, I used to think like, how is that even possible? I was, but yeah, let me know your experience. There's different experiences in different cultures. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Lord. My mother hey. smacked the shit out of the white boy. He turned into me. Wet in the water. Oh, no. My mother was a champ at whooping ass too, man. Champ. She had a gold belt and everything. I remember one time I stole a bike and she had to leave her job to get me out of jail. Ooh. You know, you grew up in a single parent household with a black woman and she got to leave work to get you out. I knew I was going to that special place. <laughs> I knew the ass whooping was serious because when we got home, she took her work clothes off Ooh. and put on a jogging suit and headband. Yeah. Like what kind of ass whooping is that? You prepared to sweat. Headband. 
She had to stop watching a bottle of Gatorade with the belt. I said, at some point, this bitch is fitting the refuel on this ass whooping. I think my mother took special joy out of fucking me up too, man. She came up with unconventional methods of whooping oh, ass. God. Shit that I knew far exceeded normal and necessary. Like I remember one time she woke me up out of my sleep at three o'clock in the morning. You know, you ever been woken up out your sleep? You know, when that light hits you, it takes take you a second to get your shit together. You be discombobulated. And I'm eight. She came in, kicked the side of the bed. Pfft, nigga, get the fuck up. You thought I forgot about that shit you did earlier. Mm -hmm. You gonna go and get suspended from that private school where I make all that money and work two hard jobs and you gonna get suspended by telling the teacher to suck your dick? Here, put this on. And she threw some boxing headgear at me. You know that leather helmet boxers be wearing for practice fights? I'm like, Ma, why I'm putting on boxing headgear? She said, because I'm going to hit you in the head with a pipe and I don't want to kill you. Because you my baby. I love you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. That was good. That was good. I think I didn't start doing more area spares. This guy's funny. This guy's guy very funny. It's giving, me, it's giving me memories. I'm getting flashbacks. Good flashbacks. Good flashbacks. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Subscribe. Check out the Patreon. Check out the membership. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.